Hello and welcome back to my channel. Saturday's come around again and believe me, today it is cold in Nottingham. We were out walking first thing this morning uh, about eight o'clock and Joe needed his big North Face parker on. It was that cold. My little feet were perished. But never mind, I've warmed up since. I've been to meeting and it was a lovely warm room at group. Did I say that the right way around? Been to group and it was a lovely warm meeting room. That's what I'm trying to say. Right. Um, yeah, it, it's been an on-plan week because of course we're doing on-plan October, aren't we? But then that's my normal way of living today and I'm still really loving it and enjoying it. Um, we've had quite a busy week actually walked quite a lot this week because we've had places that we could walk to and from so my total mileage this week i believe was 47.22 which is probably up 10 miles on last week's but it hasn't seemed like a hardship and i think that now i'm lighter and feeling uh, lean and fitter not bad for an old lady as i said to joe the other day i actually it doesn't register, the mileage doesn't register. Before, if we walked, um, we'll say, into town or we walked into our local town and back, by the time I got back, I really felt it. And now I don't. I come back with the same stride in my step as I go out with, and, and that is really nice. It doesn't feel like a chore at all to walk anywhere today. And it doesn't daunt me to walk anywhere. So if Joe suggests that rather than taking the car, shall we walk to X, Y, or Z? Yeah, I'm up for it because I feel better for doing it and I'm still sleeping so much better for the amount of walking I do. Really nice group this morning, really big group this morning and buzzing. Um, I'll tell you about the rocket, or the bit of a rocket that we had in a moment after I've given you my results. So as I say, seven days on plan, no deviation and a half pound loss. Um, happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy with that. I've still had my four healthy extras every day and I've still had 15 sins every day and while I'm sticking to that I'm confident and comfortable. Um, I know that there will be times when I can do exactly that like I did a fortnight to go and get a two and a half pound gain. That's life but it doesn't mean you know I'm not on plan and I think that's something I'm learning that um, my body doesn't know exactly when 10 o'clock on a Saturday morning is. And there are going to be natural fluctuations within our body. We cannot expect our bodies to be in perfect mode at the same time every week because chemistry just doesn't determine that that will happen. And it might be that I go to group on a Saturday morning and get a two and a half pound gain like I did a fortnight ago, but by Sunday morning, it might have been a maintain or a loss. It'll show the next week. I find I can't beat myself up today um, if things don't go according to plan, I just have to keep going because this is a lifestyle for life. It's not something that begins and ends on a Saturday morning for me anymore. It just happens that I get weighed on Saturday morning. But I'm just, um, what's it Tanya says? Embrace it. I was just going to say, I'm just embracing it. I'm just comfortable with this lifestyle and with the fact that I'm living this lifestyle seven days a week and not um, you know, thinking, oh, this is way day, I can eat whatever I like, like I, I used to do in the old days. Mind you, actually, if I'm honest, I used to do that most of the time on Slimming World. I very rarely stuck to it in days gone by. I had my own version. We've been doing, a lot of us who vlog it, and a lot of people who um, make YouTube videos, and a lot of people who watch YouTube videos, have been doing on Plan October and I think what I'd like, one of the things I'd like to say today is it doesn't end on Tuesday. Of course October ends on Tuesday but on Plan doesn't end on Tuesday and I'd like to say to those people who've got into the rhythm of being on Plan every day, keep it going because like Joe always reminds me, it's like building links and adding them to a chain and if I look back over the time that I've been at Target and probably for a wee while before I actually hit Target I've been on plan every day yeah you could look back on my videos and say there's been meals when I've flexi sinned there's been times when I've eaten my peanut butter M&Ms and I've had a hundred sins worth of them 
But because that's planned and not spur of the moment and I don't go into diet mode after I've done it, then I really believe that is being on plan. Um, people might say, oh, you know, <laughs> I've heard people say in different situations, nobody can stick to this all the time. Well, I actually believe we can and I know that a lot of the people I'm in touch with via my YouTube channel, via my group, via friends who do Slimming World, a lot of people stick to this all the time because it is now their lifestyle and I want to be amongst those people. And I think I can hold my hand up today and say I am 693 days on plan. That's because I know next Saturday I am 100 weeks at Target and I know for definite I've been on plan since Target and I was on plan I think for a period before that. That's not showing off, that's just saying this is the way I choose to live. And as Debbie often reminds us, it's all about choice and consistency, the two C words that really make a difference for me today. I love it. I couldn't imagine wanting to eat any other way because I get to eat all the food I really love every day. And I only eat the food I really love. And there is never a time when I'm thinking, I wish I wasn't having this for my lunch, I wish I was having something else, because I've got the choice and I choose what I really enjoy. So yeah, that's working for me. And being on plan is so much easier mentally than playing with plan would be for me. When I play with plan, when I used to play with plan, my head was in such a state, you wouldn't have believed it. I used to play such mind games with myself that I sent myself do a lally tap. I was always in a state of anxiety or stress or regret or resentment because I'd had something for a meal that wasn't really what I wanted. I wanted something else. I'd eaten something I shouldn't have eaten, so I was in a state of regret. I was always playing some sort of catch-up game. I won't do that anymore. I won't play catch-up. I'll get it right today. I only eat three meals a day, as I've shared on here before. I choose not to snack. That's not to say that's right for everybody because everybody has a choice. If I can't make three good meal choices in a day at my age, then there's something wrong with me. Because I have the power to choose what I'm going to eat. I have the power to buy what I'm going to eat. I have the power to cook what I'm going to eat. I haven't got any excuses for not eating what I want to eat. I don't have to please anybody else. My situation is such that I only have to please me. Now, other people have got family situations, partnership situations, work situations that might make that different for them but I can't make those excuses anymore because I don't have and this vlog is only or this video is only about what I do and what I choose to do and for today I choose to be on plan and when Tuesday comes along and it's the end of October I'm certainly not going to choose to be off plan because I see too many people who are forever trying to catch up and when you're in your 20s or your 30s or even your 40s, you've got time to catch up if you choose to do it that way. If you choose to play that game, you've got time to catch up. I'm in my 60s. I've wasted too much time. I've got a lot less time ahead of me than I've got behind me and I am not going to waste that. Believe me, I cannot afford to get fat again because I'll never do this again. I'll never get to where I am again today. So I'm going to choose to stay where I am and work from this baseline. And uh, yeah, good meeting this morning because Naomi had been to a Slimming World head office meeting last night where consultants are reminded that the focus needs to go back to free food. Too many of us are focusing too much on SINs. SINs are that little bit of the programme, that little bit of the plan that gives us the edge so that we don't feel like we're being deprived, so that we don't feel like we're on a diet. And we're not on a diet, I hate that word. I think it should be taken out of our vocabulary. Once we enter Slimming World, let's leave that, world, that word at home, let's leave it outside the door or whatever, because we are not on a diet. Diet denotes temporary. This has got to be permanent for me today. This has got to be my everyday lifestyle. If this becomes your lifestyle, then there's no being on it or off it. You know, if I chose to be a vegetarian in the future, I would live like a vegetarian. I wouldn't have one day a fortnight as a carnivore. That's 
I think the key to it, you do it, you don't do it or not do it, as the mood takes you or as the excuse takes you, you do it. And Naomi was reminding us that, you know, they were reminded as consultants in a big group at head office last night that the focus has to come back to free food. But when you bring the focus back to free food, what that immediately says to you is that your plate, whether it's your breakfast, your lunch or your dinner, or your breakfast, your dinner or your tea, whatever you call it where you live, your plate must not be more than two thirds free food because it's got to be one third speed and that's where the plan works. So we do need to be looking at our portion sizes. We don't need to be pigging out because we're feeling pissed off or fed up or it's our style week or whatever. We need to get over all that and move on and say, this is a plan and I plan to do this 100%. I want to be four stone lighter, two stone lighter, 10 stone lighter, or like me, 13 stone, one and a half pounds lighter. You know, this plan can take us anywhere. And I know that today because I've done it. And that doesn't mean I've done better than anybody who's lost a stone or two stone or three stone. We all start in a particular place and want to get to another place. For some of us, it's that far. For some of us, it's this far. It doesn't matter because it's a personal journey. We don't judge ourselves against anybody else and say, oh, look at me, I've lost 13 stone, one and a half, and you've only lost four stone. It isn't about that. It's about where you're starting from and where you want to get to. That's the only thing that matters to you. And where I started from at 22 stone and where I've got to at eight stone, 12 and a half, that's my journey. So I maybe traveled, you know, from, Lund from John's End to Lana Grove. No, that's the wrong way, isn't it? Land's End to John Groves. You may want to travel from Birmingham to South End, or you may want to travel from Nottingham to Leeds. We've all got a different journey. And it doesn't matter about anybody else's. There's no competition. It's not a challenge. It's a personal journey. What do we need to work this plan? What do we need to work this plan? Do we need apps? Do we need computers? Do we need journals? Do we need hydrate mates or any other type of water bottle? No, we don't. We need determination. We need... A willingness to change, we need a goal in mind and we need this. Is that in shot? Yeah. This in its entirety is all we need. We don't need the app, we don't need the website, although if we are members of group we have access, excuse my phone talking, we don't need the group, we don't need the app, uh, we don't need the website, we need this. If you've got this, you might live 20 miles away from a group. You might not have a car. You might have kids. You can't get to group. As long as you've got this, you can do it. And there are ways of getting this. Okay, what does this give us? This gives us the plan in its entirety. Everything's in here. Every book that you get when you join Slimming World is in here. Every book that you need because you've joined Slimming World is in here. The app is useful but useless if I'm putting it kindly because half the stuff you're looking for you won't find in there. A lot of people use the 20 calories per sin rule. That only works if there's no free food at all included in the food you're using and then it's only an estimate. This book has a lot of sins in it but in this book they're estimated in a general way so you might find bourbon biscuit three sins. Now you come back to me and say, ah, oh, but Fox's bourbon biscuits are three and a half. Ah, oh, but somebody else's, I'm only guessing that. Ah, oh, but somebody else's bourbon biscuits are two and a half. Ah, oh, but somebody else's are four. This gives you an estimate. And as long as you stick to the book, any estimates that are slightly over or slightly above will level themselves out. So you don't need to use the app. If you don't have access to it, don't worry. You're not, you can't use that as an excuse to be losing out because years ago, even seven years ago, when my Slimming World consultant joined Slimming World as a member, we didn't have an app. So we had to do it without the app. Years ago, when I joined, we didn't have a book as comprehensive as this. If you wanted to use this book today and you said, right, I'm going to put butter on my bread, and you turn to the back of the book where it gives you sin values, before you actually get to the sin values of butter, it actually makes a suggestion that you think about doing it differently. There's loads of suggestions and ideas and recommendations in here. And it might suggest to you that you don't put butter on your bread, that you think of another way of doing it to save the sins. 
because what's butter? Six, six and a half sins a tablespoon, which is what, 15 grams probably? It's, I'm looking for Joe to. I don't know. But it's something in that order. It's not a lot of butter. And when I hear people say, oh, I take a large slice of bread and I spread half a teaspoon of butter on it, I couldn't spread half a teaspoon of butter on a corner of a large slice of bread. Slice of bread. So are you measuring it or are you just dipping the end of your knife in and doing what I do? Plastering it. In here, gravy. If you were looking, because a lot of people like gravy on the dinners. I, I'm not a gravy person. I'm not a saucy person, believe it or not. Um, gravy. If you turn to gravy in here. It, it, before you look up the sins for gravy, there are suggestions, turn to page, whatever, for sin-free gravy ideas. So there's lots more in here than just the basic plan. But how often do we read it? I mean, I can honestly say I've never read mine. I've got a CD version that I've listened to probably twice. But it's so long-winded and you can't navigate your way around it easily enough that it's not really... I mean, if that's all they've got to offer for a blind person, that's the best they can do, then I'm grateful. But when you're used to using other methods of audio as a blind person, like digital discs and things, actually having it on a set of CDs is pretty 20th century, shall we say. But you have to manage with what's the best thing you've got. And if I can't read this, but I can listen to a CD, then I have to do it that way. I don't have a choice. But I've done this without daily access to the book. So, you know, how far can you go if you do have daily access to the book? This works. This is all you need. And this one is looking for a home. But I'll be honest, I'd like it to go to somebody who's going to use it. And I'd like it to go to somebody who's not going to sell it on eBay. And I'd like it to go to somebody who genuinely cannot get to a group for whatever reason. You know, they don't live close enough, they've got no transport, they've got kids. There are people out there who really, really want to lose weight and genuinely cannot get to group. And if you're in that situation and you need this because you want to change your life the way I've changed mine, drop me a message with your name. I'll separate those messages and I will make sure somebody gets this. It'll be in the post next Saturday. Because it matters. And I'll tell you why it matters, because what I've got from doing this plan is worth more than any money could buy. But if I don't give it away in the way that I'm doing my vlogs and trying to encourage other people and help anybody I can, if I'm not willing to give it away like that, then I don't deserve to keep it. So I want to help somebody genu who genuinely cannot get to a group to get one of these. So... Leave me a message if you think you need this and Joe will draw a name out. I can't do it any fairer than that because I would love to send everybody one who needs one. But that's not possible at the moment and I can't buy that number from Slimming World to be giving them away. I think they'd notice. <laughs> okay. So this is the latest. This is a 2017 version. Next Saturday, I am 100 weeks at Target and I was going to do a giveaway when I got to two years, so that's 104 weeks, but I thought, blow me down. I'm feeling generous this week because I have had such a blessing from my meetings and my friends at group and the friends that I've made on YouTube. I feel so blessed. So I'm going to do a mini giveaway leading up to the giveaway that will happen in December for my two years at Target. Um, the giveaway that I'm going to do is... This. Tell us what Hiya. it's called, Joe. Hiya. Slimming World's Comfort Collection. Now this book officially comes out on Monday. Um, as of now, you can up to today, you can get it with a 12-week subscription for £49.50. Gets you the book free, gets you two weeks free at group. But Kelvin very graciously let me have one. Well, two actually, because Lorraine, yours will be in the post next week. That's your belated birthday present. Uh, but this one is a giveaway. So if you want to be in with... This has 22 slow cooker recipes in it, apparently. If you want to be in with a chance for this giveaway, and this is totally separate from the plan, what I'd like you to do is recommend to me a book and its author. 
I'm a great reader. I love to read. I spend a lot of my time reading. I generally read three books at a time, which is a bit like anybody else watching three TV series, I suppose. I'm <coughs> currently reading a book called Fat Chance. I think it's by Nick Spaulding. It's about six different couples uh, on a radio station who have got to lose weight to win £50,000. It's a comedy. Um, it's not making me laugh that much so far, but I'm only a couple of chapters in. I decided to try and uh, get a bit of uh, humour into my life and uh, I wanted to order Dawn French's new book but it doesn't come out until January so it's on pre-order. But Joe found me this book and thought it might give me a bit of a laugh. I read so much that I'm actually running out of authors and ideas. So what I'm asking you to do if you want to be in with a chance of winning the comfort collection is to recommend a book for me to read. Now the genre doesn't matter. I'm a great lover of crimes, murders, thrillers, anything bloodthirsty, but I want to broaden my horizons. So if you have a particular author and a particular book that you'd like to recommend, I'd be very grateful because it's time I started to read something other than chilling, scary, spooky and bloodthirsty. Yeah, so anybody who recommends a book on an author or a series of books by a certain author is in with a chance and the draw will be next Saturday to win this book. Looking at humour around obesity, um, looking back over my life there are times and things now that I can laugh at. At the time they were really painful. You know like the time when I went to sit in a chair with arms on in a restaurant and my bum didn't want to go in and I was quite glad it didn't want to go in because it would never have come out again. I can laugh about that today. At the time I wanted to curl up and die on another table. But um, one of the things um, my friend Liz and I have booked this week is um, there's a musical comedy that's doing the rounds and is coming to Nottingham in March to the Theatre Royal called Fat Friends. Apparently it's based on a TV series that was on TV in the late 90s about a slimming club. And although it's probably, you know, quite a sensitive subject, I mean, come on, let's face it, have we not all sat in a Slimming World meeting at times and listened to some people make excuses that really seriously make us want to laugh? I have. But I've also probably been the person making the excuses. Sometimes we lean on excuses when we should be accepting responsibility. And when I talk to Joe about working this plan, you know, I say to Joe, what do you think the key is to working this plan? And he's very much... Just take responsibility for yourself. Stop looking to somebody else to do it, Mum, and just take responsibility for yourself, don't you? Yeah, well, yeah, you have to. Yeah, and that's what he's been saying to me for the last period, that or two years plus, that I've been doing Slimming World. It's down to you, Mum. Take responsibility for yourself, act like a grown-up. And I think that's what I do today. I'm not looking for excuses like a child to eat sweets. I'm not looking for excuses like a child to let somebody else choose my food for me. Um, it's about me, it's about what I choose to eat, it's about what I choose to do. So, yeah, there we are this week. There's two giveaways there. One for the person who needs the plan and one for a person who's prepared to recommend a book and an author. As I said, I'd love to do more, but um, you've got to keep it realistic. I am really grateful for all the support that I get on my channel, for the fabulous comments, for the ongoing conversations that I have with some people who comment on my channel. And it's like getting to know people and realising that my situation over the years is not very different to a lot of your situations. And I thought I was badly done to. I often lived my fat life as a victim. I was a victim. I was a victim of myself and my own behaviour. And... Uh, I think today I've got over that and I'm moving on and I was talking to somebody yesterday who'd got to Target a fortnight ago and then went back to group last week and gained three and a half pounds and she said I don't know how I did it and it kind of looked her in the face and smiled and I said I know how you did it you went back to your old behaviour and she sheepishly said you're right I thought I've done it I've got there now I can go back to the person I was before I was on a diet. We're not on a diet. It's a lifestyle. You've got to be willing to change and lay down some of that old stuff and that old behaviour. 
Anyway, we've got to go shopping. I did have my breakfast at group this morning. Felt really comfortable doing it. And I think that's the way to go forward for me. Hope you all have a great week. But if I can just remind everybody, it doesn't end on Tuesday with Halloween. On plan, on plan October can spill into on plan November. So 693 days on plan today, 700 next Saturday, and I'll do it. Because there is no other way for me. I love it. Have a great week. And let me remind you, it works if you work it. It won't if you don't. You might not get the immediate results you want this week, but if you keep going, you'll get them next week or the week after. And there is no finishing line. This is just a continual journey. Have a great week and we'll see you next Saturday. Bye.